Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Academy Answers Podcast, where we answer the questions from our blog, our email list, some more social media work, and generally any topic that someone raised that we find to be of value in the realm of personal development, happiness, freedom, full potential. We believe that all lives are meant to do something great. We believe that there are absolutely no extra pieces in the universe, and we all were created to manifest something in the world. I was just telling someone last night that Edison never had an ambition to light his living room. He was trying to light the planet when Bell thought of the telephone. They almost took him away because he wanted to make a, to create a device that could speak to people in England and all over Europe. And they're asking, why would you want to speak to someone in England or anywhere else in Europe? And they almost took him away to somewhere safe because they thought he was going to see now. So, you know, it, it, is, it is that we are created to pay back, to contribute, to impact, to deliver our, our, our gift. Why we are able to enjoy the most advanced society has ever been. And we have seen in our lifetime some of the most tremendous um, development and um, uh, and and increases in technology and um, medicine and all the good stuff and on, even though we bash the computers you know you know you and I know that if we're ever to do without it for for a week it will be chaos because everything would go to shambles because no one can write no one can bring up all that data anymore and the world is not is no longer optimized to do that manual stuff so we are here in the information age so we try to encourage people to live a life that is skewed towards full potential. Whether they are into the environment, whether they are into economics, whatever business, education, whatever it is that you find to be you, to be uniquely you, for you to manifest that, to think big, to do it at the highest, to do all you can. To live full and to die empty. We were all meant to thrive, not to survive. The whole idea of the universe is abundance. Everything is in abundance. If you ever look up at, at a, a tree, a fruit tree, and you see all the blossoms that it actually produces to give you the quantity of fruit that you get from that fruit tree, it would be amazing how much of an oversupply of blossoms there are on that tree so that's what we are created to do so this question today someone raised a discussion he wanted me to go further from my perspective on it that he says he's among a bunch of group a uh, bunch of people in his group and around him a family members just his associates and they are not thinking on a big scale everybody's just wanting to do the picket fence life and and he he's annoyed because there are so many skilled people there who he's trying to get into some form of a establishment to do something wider than themselves and they're professionals but they don't want much in terms of that they have secure jobs they have 401k and a couple of investments and they're done and uh, and i can i can understand that that thinking it is common it's a thinking of the middle class but the first thing is that lest we forget that the usual security that we used to have with our jobs is no longer there. It's gone through the window. That's not happening anymore. Businesses are closing left, right, and center. That's the first thing. Um, the second thing is that once you're tied to a job, you're not really truly free. And um, that freedom, while you might be able to push back at it and just you know be light about it now, as you get older, it will start to mean more to you. Second thing is that when you create something that's the greatest thing you can ever do in this world, creating something that can serve yourself and your family. Because living on a paycheck, living on someone else's production is incredibly vulnerable. Anything can happen anytime. It can go bust in a split second. Things can really go bad. And then you will be probably in a... Um, way up in your life and realize that 
um, no, nothing. The thing that used to serve you is no longer there. The job is no longer there. Um, you, somebody come and buy out your company. Somebody come and do something crazy, make some massive changes and shifts, and you're no longer able to enjoy the life you used to enjoy. That's maybe after you're way in debt and everything just look really bad. So you must think in terms of how you can produce the means of your own subsistence. That's the biggest thing you can do for yourself. And that is to be able to live off the income of your own creation, your own investment. Everybody has some, some responsibility to themselves and family to shore up themselves in life, to brace for the start. The next thing is that most people don't realize, my friend, is that your salary is not your net worth. Your salary, your job is not your net worth. Most people, our net worth is pretty much zero. Because if you take the equity in their homes and you pay off that debt, they probably have very little money, plus their credit card debt, plus their other debts that they have. So most people are value at zero. So they are dependent on a job. No one is saying to go and leave your job tomorrow, but we are saying that you can leverage a job to create something. Your workplace is not the only place that can pay you for what you know. I say that again. Your workplace is not the only place that can pay you for what you know. It's the information age. Things are different. You can get paid for what you know in many different ways. I commend you on the effort to establish something. But what I'll tell you is that try to find like-minded people who have the drive. Convincing somebody to do something like that might be a tough task. And it might be that you are the only one who do all the work and they're not passionate about it, so they don't bother. Most people can never change. Most people will never see the light because most of us don't see the light until our back is up against the wall. You know, we see the writing on the wall, but we, it doesn't matter. We, we're not changed because, because it's so hard to change and so easy to stay in a comfort zone. As Tony Robbins usually say that we are either motiv we are motivated by two things, either pain or pleasure. So if there's no pain, we don't move. And if there's no great advantage for pleasure that is near to us, we're not going to do it. So I understand that thinking. And don't think that thinking is really only in your circle. It's all over. It's commonplace. It's a, third, it's a middle class thinking that has gotten so many middle class people living a poor life, um, um, fighting over 50 cent coupons um, clipping uh, um, trying to, to 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 only buy what they can afford and never being able to buy what they want um, live a life where they're putting off living until they are retired when they're almost dead um, waiting to do vacations and travel the world when they're not even in good health can't do excursions can't really enjoy it kind of buying into a concept of life that they've been sold by the guys who take six months vacation a year and they've been sold on this and they buy into that because they can save face doing that. They can buy the luxury car, they can do live in a nice community and they can send the kid to a nice school and that makes them look good in the moment. Very, very few people can live their life based on their future outcomes because instant gratification is real. You'll remember the marshmallow experience where the kids were given a marshmallow and they told them that if you eat it now, you don't get any more. If you wait until 10, 15 minutes to eat it, we give you three more. Most kids eat the, the, the marshmallow, even though they had a ch they stand no chance of getting any more. And even though they could get more if they waited a little while. So that's how we are. It's human nature. So you now have to decide that this is my life. This is what I want to do. This is my outlook. And I don't care if anyone around me believes in this way, but according to the facts, we're realizing that more and more the corporate brick and mortar structure is folding, it's downsizing, it's not working, it is a slave system, people are overworked and underpaid, it robs your freedom, blocks your life, and put you into a box, and more and more people are coming out here and being innovative and creative and using the media and using the web, World Wide Web to create something and to reach your audience, to find their people and to do something greater with their lives. That's the greatest thing you have to think about. How can I make my life bigger than me? Because in the end, nothing feels better than service. Service is the greatest thing you can ever do and nothing you get will feel 
feel as good at what you can give because our lives were meant to serve and to serve at a bigger level to leave something in this world that people can come to benefit from centuries after you that's what you're here to do so forget that crowd don't worry about them don't waste your time trying to figure them out they will figure them out themselves Go after what you want. Focus on your dreams. Focus on what you want to do. And once you start to do it and start to put it together, you will attract the people who will be willing to work to put it together with you. Have a good day, guys. Always a pleasure. Reach out to me on Instagram, LoanMotivatorCar.com or LoanMotivatorCar on Instagram, LoanMotivatorCar.com.